I mean, look at this. This is just about the same footprint as everything. Imagine you just have to carry around this and not only your big chunky laptop and stuff like that. Dope. Integration straight into the Lightroom mobile apps. Okay guys, so the idea for today is I'm gonna try out some new gear I have here, but in the meantime, I'm also gonna look at a new update. Yes, again, a new update for the Narbox, and this one is a killer feature. I mean, that wasn't that bad for a non skater boy, right? You didn't see that. Okay, now, first and foremost, a little disclaimer. This update is only gonna work with you guys who have iOS 11, so Apple, iOS, that ecosystem only. Sorry, Android users. So to use all of these new things, make sure you update to iOS 11, make sure you grab the latest and greatest Lightroom mobile app from Adobe, and of course, make sure you update this bad boy because that's the only way this is gonna work with the new files app. As you saw from the earlier videos I put out, I am using the Lightroom mobile app a ton especially to get it with the Narbox. Now with this new update, you can use integration straight into the Lightroom mobile app. So you don't have to fire up your application, your Narbox application anymore. You can just grab it from within the application, go to your Narbox, go to the drive and everything that's on there. Also, if you're using SD cards or you're using an external drive, simply by using the new files app on your Apple device. Now the first thing you're gonna do is boot this bad boy up or connect it. So this is all the same as if you would normally if you would go to the Narbox application. Now the thing now what we do is instead of going to Narbox, I'm going to search for the files app. You're gonna see if you have multiple cloud services like Drive, iCloud, Drive, Dropbox and stuff like that on my iPhone as well. And what you're also gonna see is Narbox. You can see all your favorites that you liked on the application itself or you can go straight into the Narbox and all of its folders. This is maybe, there I say it, better to use. You can use this to go straightly from your Narbox to a cloud service. You can, wherever you go, just upload stuff to the cloud, download stuff from the cloud to the Narbox. So you basically don't need a computer anymore to go out to do this. And for me, this is a game changer. So imagine what it is if other applications are using this files folder. And that's something really cool is that it's not only going to work with Adobe Lightroom, which I'm going to show you after, so stay tuned for that, but also whatever editing software could make use of this feature. So my workflow for this is, um, it's actually now it's the same as if I am using my laptop to do all of this stuff, and which is pretty, pretty amazing and pretty rad to know that this is just coming from a little box like this size and costs about one fifth of my laptop. You know what I'm saying? So basically now it's just the same. I have my drive in one hand, I have the Narbox, plug this thing in and I'm good to go. I know this is a workflow a lot of you guys will probably use as well. Now the first thing we're gonna do is create a new album, not a folder, using an album on the Lightroom application. Now that's awesome if you're using Adobe Lightroom CC just like me on your laptop as well because everything will be synced automatically. Let's create a new album, we're gonna name it Narbox Goodness heart yeah from there we're gonna add a new photo I'm um, just going to the bottom right of the screen of course we're gonna click the files application and then it's just simple as that and we just navigate to where we know our picture is gonna be now a little disclaimer here uh, you cannot use this to add multiple files and I know this bothers me a little bit because it's so much easier to do that. It's so much easier to just import a lot of files at the same time so you can start editing on those. But you guys know me, I'm not taking no for an answer. So I just contacted the team at Narbox and they told me it's an iOS limitation. So nothing to do at their end. They hope to release a fix really soon. And that's it and now you can start editing your picture. I'm going straight to the edit photo and show you how to export it from here. We can do two things. We can just import it straight into the Narbox itself also using the files application but if you want to do it straight to the camera roll that is also an option and that one I always use because these pictures are going straight to my Instagram so that's how Casey does it stay creative inspire yourself